today I found what might be one of the most unique places I've ever seen. They live in capsules, like it's not a hotel. This is actually their home, so let's jump right in and check it out. Here we go. Pretty excited to show this one. It is insanely affordable. We're gonna start by taking off our shoes. And this is what the area looks like first off. And here is the capsule that we get to take a look at today. That's it. This is what they rent out. This is the entire space right here. Full confession usually surprises people. For all my time in Japan, I've never stayed at a capsule hotel once in my entire life. And wow. This is what the space is like. Now there is more storage space spread throughout this place that I will show you later on. I think if it was short term, I could probably imagine myself living here. My first ever apartment in Japan that I lived in for a year, well, obviously being an actual room with higher ceilings was only about two to two and a half the size of this room here. It was insanely tiny. And I lived there for a year because I was never home. But in one of our previous videos, we met Okazaki-san who lives in a very small space. She's a design student and her view on things really brought a new perspective to the video. <laughs> <laughs> and so I actually brought her along today and I want to go grab her now and see if we can't get her reaction to this and how she would use it. So let's go grab her. And while we do that, just a few interesting notes on this place. Not only are there a bunch of capsules, but the building also has multiple floors. We were lucky enough to get permission to film on this floor while everybody is out for the morning. And all the capsules are handmade. And for some reason, the company seems to be really proud of that fact. Not entirely sure why. And pricing and whatnot will be covered in just a minute. So let's see what Okazaki-san thinks of this place. You ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so since quite a few people live here, today we only have access to a small portion of the living space plus the shared space, but Nakamiru. Hi. Are you ready? Hi. すごいな、本当に寝る空間っていう感じなんですね。あ、でもなんかここ入ってます。はい、じゃあ、失礼します。そのうちも狭いので結構突っ張り棒とかが便利なんですけど、例えばここにドアがあって、ここからここまでこう突っ張り棒とかを高騰して、あ、日本さんが3本かこう通して、その上
って冬服はいらないからもう奥にしまっちゃえとか。And there's still more. あらまだある。おキッチンと冷蔵庫。あらしかもその奥にもまだ。でうちのキッチンより広いし、冷蔵庫大きいし。あしかもお風呂もある。へえー。なんかこれでも全これだけあったら全然住めちゃいますね余裕でロッカーそうですねロッカーとかもあって、まあ、さっきドライヤーあそこでやろうかなと思ってたけど別にここにあるんだここに置いといてここら辺でガーってやってもいいし一回お部屋見てみてもいいですか<笑><笑>します Since it's basically like a share house, I asked Okazaki san if she thought she'd be able to live here herself. Mmm, smell. Smell, here, there, 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 And amazingly, this place is only around 200, give or take, a month. 2 0 0 0 dollars. 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 dollars. I'm going to get 2 0 0 0 ちゃんとこう自分の空間があるって人間にとって大事なことだと思っててお家にそうそう自分のものを置ける場所が安心して置ける場所があるって結構大事なことだと思うのでそれがこの2万円台っていうかなりお手頃な価格でできるんだったらそういう選択肢もあるなっていうのが増えたのですごい良かった。<笑>